Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Terry and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 10th through 17th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to make sure you guys check your sun, moon, and rising signs and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get this show on the road. So. Somebody is feeling like somebody is using them, but it may not be that. All right. You might be just seeing stuff. Okay, some of you are getting rid of friends. All right, Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. July 10th through 17th, 2017. Okay, so I'm so sorry. Negative place. Some situation is bringing you to a negative place, Aries. Mm. All right, so somebody is manipulating you and this is infuriating you on the inside. Be I feel like it's because you know what they're doing. That's that card from earlier I don't remember what the card did was with it so but it's reversing it now mm. so I'm gonna just read the cards like they are so you are getting angry because somebody is manipulating you and you You keep trying to look over it, you know, you keep trying to look over it, but you can't because it's like you just let it go because you don't want to like cause all this drama and then they just do it even like more blatantly next time. Okay, so whatever the situation is, it's keeping you up at night. You having trouble sleeping or you keep getting messages in your dream, dreams about what's going on. There it is again. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, somebody is accusing you of using them to get ahead. But this is a manipulation tactic, but you just keep letting it go, acting like, you know, you just give them what they want just to shut them up, you know, because you don't want to cause no problems. But... It, it's infuriating you like you like a ticking time bomb right now like you know you accuse me of this one more time okay um yeah somebody is violating your personal space with this you know um yeah d just doing it whoo they just doing everything that you don't like. But you just letting them get away with it. Because you don't want to cause no trouble. You're like, I don't want to cause any trouble. Alright, so baggage. So all this got to do with some kind of baggage. Alright, let's see. We might see in these Cleo cards. I don't know if I said this, but I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. So, Aries. What's going on for Aries? Aries, Aries. Aries love reading. Some, something is telling me this might have to do with work also. Yeah. I think that may have to do with work, but it could be a relationship too. Okay, Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on with Aries for July 10th through July 17th, 2017? Aries, July 10th through July 17th, 2017. Yep, that's bad dreams coming out of the state of it. I don't know. I got feeling like... I got a feeling that the Aries is getting ready to explode. Mm-mm. Don't do it. 
All right, so somebody has made a choice about something. Hmm. Look at all this. So somebody's getting a message in the mail, ooh, about an unsex, hold the hell up. I don't remember what reading it was. It had to be, it might've been the Aquarius, but somebody about to get like a, a mail, some mail about a situation. It might be a love offering, a mail, email, whatever, and you gonna turn it down. <laughs> Heck, you know, this is funny to me because it just happened to me. You're going to turn it down. It's going to be an unsuccessful event. You're just going to, like, pow, get out of here. That is amazing. Never happened to me before, you know. I guess there's a lot of that going on right now, guys. All right, all right, all right. Aries, Aries, Aries. <laughs> that is so funny. Mm. I don't know. This makes me feel like some other stuff. This makes me feel like somebody getting ready to take a trip soon and they not they not waiting for nobody to do it anymore. All right, let's read these cards, guys. So we got the two of swords. <laughs> the two of swords, and it says reverse. So empty words, insecure actions, and lies. Okay, there's a lot of that going on. I think that's gonna help you make your choice between the two people, two situations. Oh my gosh. All right, so then now we got the Knight of Staffs. Mm -mm. Knight of Staffs. All right, make sure that says Knight, Knight, Staff, Staffs. All right, so you may be taking a trip soon over a long distance. Uh, now is a good time to change where you live. If you want to leave the situation, leave it now. So... Okay, so this is like, if this is a relationship or a job, it's just like, if you want to leave, just go. Stop sitting around and waiting for stuff to get better, because it might not ever get better. You know? That's probably why you're trying to act like the, this manipulation and this lying isn't going on, because you're hoping it'll get better, hoping they get fired, <laughs> or you just hoping they get transferred, or you just hoping your partner stop lying. But in reality... You never know how long that takes to stop being so patient and do something about it. Okay? So there's three coins. This makes me feel like it might be a work situation. You know? But could be home, could be work. All it is is manipulating, backstabbing, and lies. Alright, so we got three coins reversed. And this says, this card indicates silly workplace rivalry boredom with your position. Yeah, so it's basically like you got everything you need to leave this job or leave this relationship. Um, if you're sick of being lied to, take the next step. Other than that, thanks for watching. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Make sure to subscribe. Thank everybody for everything they do. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a wonderful week.